Mr. This Mr. is a meeting of the Recreation Park Commission. Would the secretary please call the roll? Commissioner Buell? Here. Commissioner Lowe? Here. Commissioner Bonilla? Here. Commissioner Harrison? Here. Commissioner McDonald? Here. Uh, Commissioner Levitin is on her way, and Commissioner Way does have an excused absence. This is the February 19th, 2015 meeting of the Recreation and Park Commission. Uh, as a recap, my understanding is that it is still the intention of the RPD in this commission to introduce an additional 1,000 tons of the chemicals in tire crumb into another San Francisco children's play area. I believe these figures are correct. You have been duly informed on many occasions and are aware that a toxicologist from the Center for Disease Control predicted that within 10 years that people exposed to these chemicals would start to develop cancers. This was in 2007. And that, in fact, since 2014, this commission and the RPD management have known of an unusual and growing number of users of these fields developing cancers. Despite these facts, you have dismissed these health warnings and instead have repeatedly embarked upon actions that financially benefit your longtime business associates at Field Turf Target Incorporated, O.C. Jones and Sons Incorporated, Robert A. Bothman Construction, and others by awarding them contracts worth tens of millions of dollars to install tire crumb fields. It is to be expected that while your associates profit handsomely, it's in fact the parents whose children that use these fields are the people living next to them who will risk paying a profound price from the resulting chemical and chemical combinations that will inevitably circulate in their children's bloodstream as they breathe the chemicals into their lungs or swallow, ingest, and have the chemicals enter open cuts in their skins or by other means. At last month's meeting on January 15, 2015, Don Camelanathan and the RPD management earnestly promised this commission that they will once again explore alternatives to tyrochrome. As the record shows, and as Ms. Bonilla and Ms. Levitin and Mr. Harrison should remember, that is the same promise that RPD management made way back in 2008 when the chemical risk was first brought to their attention. The record also shows that the RPD again kicked the can down the road in 2011 and again in 2012 with the same promise. Short-sightedness or denial of these past promises and symbolic gestures risk passing on a sad and financially significant burden for the next generation to have to deal with, perhaps after you all plan to have left your positions. Based on data supplied by your associates, San Franciscans to date have awarded tens of millions of dollars by you to your associates, accumulating over 34 acres of these tire crumb installations within city boundaries, containing chemicals amounting to, to over 6,000 tons. As we have for years, I and others will do what we can to help you keep track of the list of cancer victims as it keeps growing with your tacit approval. Thank you. Thank you.